So, mashed potato. Probably the most comforting thing on the planet, really, outside deep fried Mars bars or chips. Um, so I'm not going to pretend that this is a replacement for mashed potato because obviously it's not. When you have mashed potato, it's all about that creamy, buttery, comforting taste that you just want to sit on the sofa and eat. But what it is, is something very similar that gives you the same sort of effect and is full of flavour and a lot, lot better for you. So what it is, is my bolotti bean mash. And it doesn't have to be made with bolotti beans. It can be made with chickpeas as well. Any, any bean, really, black beans you can do it with, just as long as the flavorings are all there. So what I've got in this pan here is about a tablespoon of olive oil and a clove of garlic that I've crushed up. And I've just been cooking it on a low heat for about a minute just to let out the flavors. And then I have drained one tin of bolotti beans, which, I'm just gonna throw in, along with about a tablespoon of chopped rosemary, a little more, a little less, doesn't really matter, just as long as you've got it in there. So if we stir all those together, the other great thing about this is it's practically instant, I mean it's not really a recipe, it's more an amalgamation of flavors and a putting together of things that are in the cupboard. So because the cannoli, because the bolotti beans, sorry, are already cooked, they literally just need warming through. And it's a great thing to have as a standby if you want a really quick and healthy dinner. So I'd serve this with, with any meat really. So grilled chicken, it's great with with some veg on the side, or I mean tonight, I'm gonna to serve it with a beef stew that I've already made. So what we want is for the beans to heat through. So we're putting it on a medium heat now. And it'll probably take about a couple of minutes to heat through. Now this isn't altogether an original dish. I mean, it is based on a Tuscan classic. So if you're ever going to a Tuscan restaurant, like a proper worker's cafe, what you'll normally see on the menu is Florentine steak, which is basically this humongous T-bone steak, which is delicious, that they fry, cover in olive oil, sometimes garlic, sometimes rosemary, and they always have white beans on the side, normally cooked with garlic and rosemary. And it would normally look something like this. So you get a bowl of those, which is great and really delicious. And to be honest with you, I'd eat it as it is right now. But mashing it up just gives it another element and makes you feel like you're eating mashed potato, but actually you're not. You're eating something that's full of fiber. I mean, as I said, it's not exactly the same. And I mean, you won't get the taste of pure butter and pure cream, which I know is what's lovely about mashed potato, but what you will get is that heady hint of garlic and rosemary, which really is delicious, especially with meat, red meat. So, what you'll see when they're ready and heated through is they'll start to break down slightly, which is what you want because that makes it easier to mash afterwards. So I think we are nearly there. Yep, right. So what you can do is you can start crushing them slightly with your spoon as it's going along. Again, this makes it slightly easier, but they look like they're all, all warm through. And I mean, this has literally taken two minutes and it's just a matter of opening a tin, cutting some garlic and some rom rosemary and heating it together. So you can literally have this on the table in five minutes if you've already got a piece of chicken already cooked or another bit of meat. Or you can even have it on its own, to be honest with you. I quite like it on its own. If you throw in a bit of parsley as well, it makes it into a bit more of a salad. So there we go. Just turn off the heat and now just an ordinary masher. So this is what it'll look like. Just ordinary a lot of guys. Get your masher and start mashing. Now it's never gonna be completely smooth and silky like you get from mashed potato. There is gonna be some texture, but that's what's great about it because you get the chunks of bolotti bean with the chunks of garlic. 
and a little bit of rosemary in there. And there we go. So I'll just get a little plate. Top it with a little bit of fresh rosemary. And then finally just a drizzle of olive oil on top. And that's it. So that's my Bellotti bean mash. And as I said, I'm gonna have it with a beef stew, but it's great with chicken, with turkey. So yeah, enjoy. If you want the recipe, just let me know.